golden tools. Okay. Is this the one for this one? Just hop on it. Yeah, that's okay. Five zero seven. Nine six one. Five. Okay. Five. Five. Uh, 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 uh,
like a red mark. Whereas um, the Chipotle don't have that, they just have the uh, black and white. So many important Papa. buildings here. This is the financial district also. so they weren't able, which meant they weren't able to read. Um, so you would see a lot of gargoyle statues on buildings. So the buildings uh, with the gargoyles would uh, stipulate um, different sorts of things. So for a church, I don't know, you probably see, um, you know, a um, gentleman with a mitre hat or a, a crown or something like that. Um, but they all stipulated different things at that time because of people being illiterate. So obviously if you can't read, um, they would see symbols um, which would then depict which building that they were seeing at the time. Thank you. 
on the left hand side there, the monument to him with the great fire of London. So we're just proceeding um, over the bridge and then we'll be heading up to the um, Tower of London. So we're just picking up some more people, if anybody wants to leave this up. To the left hand side of us you can see the Tower of London there. And this is the old battleship of the HMS Belfast. And then just in front here, we've got London Bridge Hospital. Because this is the London Bridge area. And then in the distance, this is the Shark Building. Supposedly one of the tallest buildings here in London. Okay, so we've left the city of London now over bridge, and then we're now heading, heading up to the top. original London Bridge by the way because the original London Bridge was sold off. Perché già che il è
Sí, ho atreveses. Sí, veus? Sí, però... Va el pasta. No, va el pasta. Forniu, que val? Ja, ja. 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 Sorry, thank you. Can we go there and look? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Idziemy tutaj, chłopcy. Blanka. It's okay, it's okay. Hey. Thank you. Sono quei gazeboli. Non lo so, sicuramente sarà la scuola dove c'è io. Facevano le cose. Cosa? Sì, qua ah, si sì, si mangia. No, no, ci va al ristorante, si mangia. Eh sì, esatto. Però non ho capito perché è chiuso. Sembra il
But I don't know whether it does. Is this the one? Is this for the TRS? No. So it's, the other side. it's one. Thanks 
Stepfolks, we're going up to Take your time, guys. Mind your step. Mind your step, folks. We're going to Westminster. Lovely. Three or four days ago.
oldest and the ugliest railway bridge across the Thames in central London. It was designed by John Hawkshaw and it opened in 1867. Through this bridge and over on the right is a ground barge filled with grey containers. Now this is Walbrook Wall and it's a waste transfer station. This is where they take our rubbish to be packed in and placed into the grey containers. One truck will take up the six of these barges down the river to Belvedere and when it arrives the barge is incinerated and turned into a lift. And the next bridge is Southwark Bridge. It's, it was opened by King George V in 1921. It is the narrowest and least used road bridge across the town in central London. And that's because the approach road was so narrow and so poor inside and not many Londoners know this bridge is here. See anybody up there today? Get them away because they're more than likely lost. <laughs> so the bridge on the right is Vintner's Place with the round columns. That used to be home to the Honourable Company of Vintners, and they have the undesirable job of testing all the beers, wines, and spirits that are brought into this country. There's about a ten-year waiting list for a job there, and I know that because I've been waiting five about halfway there. To the left here we've got a white building with timber frames and a thatched roof. That is a replica of Shakespeare's Globe. And that was the idea of Sam Wanamaker, an American film producer and director. You can see Shakespearean plays performed there in nearly in just a costume for just five pounds. It's excellent value for live entertainment here in London. Also on the left we've got the old Bankside Power Station. That was designed by Giles Gilbert Scott. It also built Fantasy Power Station, Waterloo Bridge, and London's Red Telephone Box. Now, Backside closed due to the escalating price of oil. It's now home to the Tate Modern, the largest collection of modern art in the world. Well, the bridge ahead of us here, this is the Millennium Bridge. It's locally known as the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge. And that's because it was opened by the Queen in the Millennium Year and then closed by the police the following day because it wobbled quite violently. The architect, Norman Foster, he said it's just the way people walk here in London. I would have thought you'd take that into account if you were designing a bridge across a river in the middle of London, but apparently not. So that bridge was closed for two years and they spent millions of pounds demobilising it just to make it safe. On our immediate right, we have the magnificent dome of St Paul's Cathedral. St Paul's was designed by Christopher Venn. It stands 365 feet high. It's the second largest unsupported cathedral dome in the world. The largest is on St Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. Now, Venn himself is buried in the tomb of St Paul's, alongside the Iron Duke of Wellington and Admiral Lord Nelson. On ahead of the road, we have the Black Lives Group of Bridges. Now the first bridge is Blackfriars Railway Bridge. That was built by Henry Mark Brunel, the son of his Mark Kingdom Brunel. And it was built to replace the old London to Chatterton Hope Railway. That bridge was taken down because it couldn't take the weight of the modern day trains. Now the red columns ahead of us, that's all the remains of the old bridge. Now the old bridge was so well built that they actually widened the new bridge onto the columns of the original during the London Olympics. The Blackfire Station now sits on top of this bridge, the largest solar powered roof in Europe as well. So on a sunny day like today, not only does it provide half of the station's electricity, the trains actually run on time as well. The next bridge is Blackfire Road Bridge, built at the request of Queen Victoria, to commemorate the Dominican Monastery as we know from the time. Now amongst four black habits, it's where we get the name Black Friars. This is the widest road bridge in central London and its opening ceremony was Queen Victoria's first public engagement of the death of the Constitution. Off to our right is a red brick building with a stained glass window and a little bit of church. That is Sion Hall and it used to be a colleague and a library for the Anglican clergy. Over the years that building was home to more than 100,000 theological books and manuscripts including Queen Victoria's personal Bible and diaries. On our media right, we have a Gothic Revival building of the Slopes Roof and a Black Spinneret. That is the old City of London School for Boys. 
and that's where they educated many of our former MPs and Prime Ministers. Now despite that, we do say it was a good school. And Winston Churchill even spent two weeks there before he was expelled for fighting. On the beaches over on our left. Also on the left there's another red brick building, this one's Stamford Wolf, and it's locally known as the Oxo Tower. That building used to be a cold store, the famous Oxo Company, and when they had it designed it was illegal to advertise on the River Thames unless your company worked with boats. Now because Oxo makes stock cubes, and have nothing to do with boats, they were taken to court. And they argued it was clearly a coincidence that the windows on their towers go down the gate. Oxo. Now surprisingly, the judge actually agreed with them and it's had over 90 years of free advertising ever since. Well, I think they got away with a technicality. Something about gravy boats. But off to the right now we have Victorian Embankment. Now the Embankment was built by a brilliant Victorian engineer called Joseph Basilgen. Now the Victorians even closed on the banks of the river in 1868 and that allowed them to build the sewer system that we still use today and parts of the underground network as well. On the embankment we have a stone archway with a face of Barber Thames and there are two silver dragons, there's one on either side of the road. That is Temple Stairs Arch. It's the boundary marker for the City of London where about to leave and the City of Westminster where about to enter. Now the City of London is one of the smallest capital cities in the world. It's only one square mile. You'll find silver dragons just like those at every major entrance of the city of London. They're placed there to protect it from all evil. I'm not too sure they were. Off to our left now there's a large concrete building that is the National Theatre. And that was voted the ugliest building in London for over 10 years. And that was until somebody finally built an uglier building in Woolwich. It's actually in Tesco. Well that is part of the South Bank Centre. They have over 5,000 performances throughout the year. An excellent street food market as well. The bridge ahead of us here, this is Waterloo Bridge. And it's affectionately known as the Ladies Bridge because it was built by the Women's Land Army during the Second World War. Now the Ladies built the longest bridge in central London, just under a quarter of a mile. And it's one of the only bridges in central London to have been built on time and on budget. So welcome to the girls. But if you look over to our right now, we have Somerset House, if it's green, no. Now, look across the roadway, you can just see the top of the stone arch. Before Victoria Embankment was built, you would have entered Somerset House. <laughs> Thank you.
Because the life I live is my best. I do what myself because I'm doing it faster. Right to my core, I'm it's an hour master. I got it all mapped out, you can call me a carter. And I got the skills to barter. Why don't we take it to Spain? Bucket list tour around the world on a plane. Make up a story and call it a game. Changing my colours and changing my name. I know it's all a dream in the distance, but I keep contemplating my existence. Because I want to make a difference now. I can't bear leave this earth without doing that somehow. You can go home anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Yeah, so uh, that was an original song called You Can't Go Home. It's on that CD. I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I can also take card as well if anyone wants to grab one, but yes, if you like the song, that's great. Anyway, I've got some more songs that you might actually recognize now. So uh, let's play those. This is one that uh, is just a really fun song to play. And I, I did it, stopped doing it recently, and uh, I like it, so here we go. I'm at a Thank you very much, cheers guys. Thank you. Apologies to any Americans on board, we had it first. Also on the right here we have Tower Lifeboat Station. That's actually the busiest lifeboat station anywhere in the UK. They have more call outs per day than some of the coastal stations have in an entire month. And despite that, they're completely funded by voluntary donations. Through the bridge and onto the right we have a building with green roof and single flag marks. The Savoy Hotel, one of our more luxurious bed and breakfast. The Savoy was opened by Richard Doyle Carr, and it was the first hotel in the world to have both electric lighting and electric lifts as well. Also on the right here we have London's oldest landmark, and that is Cleopatra's Needle. Now that obelisk originally stood in Heliopolis in Egypt in around 1500 BC. And that was given to us by a great Egyptian viceroy. Of the British victories at the Battle of the River Nile and the Battle of Alexandria. Now, if you look at the Sphinxes, they're facing the obelisk, admiring it, but traditionally, Sphinx are the guardians, so they shouldn't be facing the way. Now, by the time the Egyptians told us it was wrong, the concrete had set, and it's remained the same ever since. Not many people know that, but I do, and I tell everyone. <laughs> Off to the left now we have Royal Festival Hall, that is the last remaining building for the Festival of Britain in 1951. The acoustics in that concert hall are so effective, you can't even hear the sound of the trains running alongside. So those trains cross Charing Cross Railway Bridge and they service Charing Cross Station, which is over on the right. But as we pass through this bridge, it's the only point on our journey today where we pass under and over a railway at the same time, and that's because we're about to pass over the northern and Bakerloo line of London Now over on our left here we have London's number one tourist attraction, that is the London Eye. 
Well, now the eye opened in the millennium year, and it was originally sponsored by British Airways. Now they sold it because it wasn't making them enough money. But on a sunny day here in London, the eye could make up to sixteen and a half thousand pounds in just half an hour. So I'm not too sure what kind of money they thought they were going to make, but it clearly wasn't enough. Off to our right, we have a grey paddle steamer called Tattershall Castle. She started her life as a car ferry on the River Humber, and she was brought to London to become a floating art gallery. Now she was a gallery for two years, and then she was turned into something Londoners love instead, a floating pub. Apparently, the town has remained more money in her first two weeks at the pub, and she made the whole two years as an art gallery. She's going to show you kind of artists we like you in London. Well. Well, directly ahead of the boat we have the new Palace of Westminster, locally known as the House of the Parliament. Now, that building was designed by Charles Barry, and much of the decorative work was by Augustus Welby Pugin. Now sadly, neither of those gentlemen lived to see it completed, but it's now our best example of Gothic architecture anywhere in the country. The tower with the clock faces, people mistakenly call that Big Ben. But that is the Elizabeth Clock and Tower, whose Big Ben is only the bell that chimes the hour. Now, Big Ben was cast in Whitechapel. It weighs 16 and a half tons, and it's slightly cracked by many of the MPs. We are now approaching Westminster Pier. Now, we will be the next departure, heading down river to Tower Bridge and Greenwich. But we don't leave here until 1.40, about 40 minutes. So you're more than welcome to step ashore and have a little look around this area. Boats heading back down the river with our company leave from boarding point B, B for boat, every 40 minutes, that's 4 zero. So the next boat is 1.40. Now the final boat to Greenwich departs at 3.40. And then after that, there are two more sailings down the tower, 4.20 Oh, 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 oh,